July 1st, the uh, District Attorney Josh Marquis delivered an envelope, kind of a sealed letter to uh, Chief Curzon. He copied that to my office also. And it was generally putting the city on notice that the District Attorney was going to be... Well, let's hand it on the road. Go ahead, you can finish your talk. District Attorney wanted to see uh, all DUIs uh, originating in the city of the story referred to the circuit court. Uh, so he delivered that letter. Is there anything in the... Yeah, everything is there. Uh, subsequent to that, uh, I, I provided a copy of that letter to the city attorney. The city attorney had an email correspondence with Mr. Marquis. That was the weekend, I believe. Uh, Mr. Marquis responded via email today. So it's, so it's all new information. Because what, what I received was, first it was an email from our city attorney referring to a letter. And then, and then the district attorney. Oh, I see this last one. So in, in the packet that was just distributed, there's a there's two there's a staple sheet. There's three uh, letters. That's what was delivered to us by the district attorney on on Friday. Uh, attached to that separately is the email correspondence that went between the city attorney Blair Hansgard and district attorney Josh Martin. I'd like to just ask our city attorney. To explain more, Blair, to tell us more about your response. What was your thought there? I think it probably was um, a little confused as the appropriate uh, uh, or the requirements of the ethical code. I just pointed that out to him and asked that in the future he uh, respond uh, to me. So, is there any? Comments or questions. So as it stands now, though, the communication as it pertains to municipal court and who handles DUIs will go through you. And so I, I'll clear that up with him uh, so that uh, he shouldn't have any further confusion. Uh, but um, anything doing with uh, the, the city's policy of citing uh, DUI cases, the, the correspondence, I believe, should go through my office. Not um, around the city or directed to the city council members. Paul, can you give us an update on where the house bill is that he, that he introduced? Or do you, I mean, I know the session is over, but what happened? I didn't hear anything. I, I actually ignored it out. I, I know that it didn't proceed past the house, what the reasons were, or what happened to it. Uh, I have not heard of it. So where do we go now? Do we do anything? Uh, uh, I'm concerned about it. I sat in the same hearings that he did, and I don't uh, recall the city saying that uh, the police department had the authority to uh, cite Dewey's wherever they wanted, uh, as the first paragraph of this original letter says. I don't think they're accurate. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to... Uh, uh, personally, carry this uh, a lot further into this now. I asked the Chief Cruzon. Chief Cruzon, are you comfortable with the, the city attorney being the, the key point person for the communications? Or what? What are your do you have any thoughts? Or he's my attorney, uh, Mayor. Okay, and please keep us surprised what's going on. We'd like to do everything, we do everything in open sessions in public. So, and let's. When something comes up, let's talk about it publicly.